former Governor Gina Raimondo, now Secretary of Commerce, and former Boston Mayor Marty Walsh, now Secretary of Labor, are both spending time in New England today. And Alexandra Leslie is joining us in our newsroom. We understand the two joined state and local leaders in Groton, Connecticut this morning. Right, so the secretaries both toured the shipyard at Electric Boat before visiting the apprenticeship program there, which is run by Connecticut's Department of Labor. Now, Raimondo says President Biden's jobs packages include a $48 billion investment in workforce development infrastructure, and it'll create one to two million new registered apprenticeships, apprenticeship slots, rather. Noting the high unemployment rates amid the pandemic, Raimondo said that these apprenticeships will be a key piece of digging out of joblessness, since many jobs will require a degree, credential, skill, or trade beyond high school. According to Governor Ned Lamont's office, 900 apprentices have worked at Electric Boat in the last 20 years. Now, Raimondo said investing in the country's workforce is critical to giving Americans a shot, noting in her time as Rhode Island governor that the state invested heavily in workforce training, apprenticeships, and community colleges. The secret to successful job training and apprenticeship is a partnership between labor and business, between workers and the companies that employ them. And in that regard, EB is a model uh, and the work that the Secretary of Labor and I um, will look to expand. And later today, both Secretary Walsh and Secretary Raimondo will host a virtual roundtable to discuss the Biden administration's investments in registered apprenticeships and training programs. Live in the newsroom, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News. Alex, thank you. And a reminder that our coverage will continue as Vice President Kamala Harris will be coming to visit Rhode Island tomorrow. She'll be joining Secretary Raimondo, although their precise plans still have not been announced. We'll be bringing you all the developments as the visit plays out, of course, on the air and on WPRI.com.